The CSUN Art Gallery hosted the exhibit Full and Part 1, which contained work from full and part-time faculty. It was part one of a two-part exhibition featuring 3D and interactive art. It was open from February 11th until March 18th. The purpose is to showcase the talent we have here at school. So it's full-time faculty and part-time faculty. We have some outstanding part-time faculty and you can see examples of their work in the show. So it's a compilation of people who teach here and mentor our students. It's one thing to hear them talk about them producing work and it's another thing to see the actual work, you know what I mean? So I think that's some good insight for us. And you'll find with each person in the show, they work so completely differently that I think it's such a broad perspective of what art can be. The color palette of the show is sort of, it's like muted, there's a lot of whites and natural colors. It's, it's, it's more intimate, I think. Like, you can see every single detail. Instead of a painting that's a single big wall and you can't really like touch or whatever. Well, it provokes thought, right? Like the, the salami and glass one. Like you think, you, you, you look at it and it's pretty, pretty literal, right? Literally like wiener looking things on pieces of glass. Then you start looking closely and then you see like they're dripping and you start wondering if that was intentional. This wasn't the only thought provoking artwork displayed though. Along with many other faculty artists, Patsy Cox's piece had a deeper meaning. Well, most of my work talks about assimilation, accumulation, um, talks a little bit, it makes a little bit of reference to the Los Angeles landscape in terms of like the different types of people that come here and how they impact and affect one another. So I use primary colors, um, red, yellow, and blue to talk about you know, you can mix any color from those three colors. So that piece in particular is a combination of hand techniques, so porcelain, the, some objects are made out of clay, and then the pieces in the installation that are actually colored are 3D printed. The exhibition being interactive allowed students to interpret the art in their own ways as they reflected on their favorites. Probably Carrie's piece with the, the teeth and the found objects. Well, it's both that piece and the the tortoise and the hare. I think there's some kind of weird sense of awkwardness, especially with the tortoise and the hare. Um, if you look closely, there's like a little, um, I guess they're like printed on a transparency, like little Jesuses. There's like a fear of holes in surfaces. It's a thing and it sort of reminds me of that. Ideas can come from anywhere. Appreciating other artists' work can sometimes evoke inspiration. This is actually my favorite piece, Rebecca Ripple, and I actually had initially thought that I was gonna fill the center of my installation until I saw the backdrop of this, and I felt like standing on that wall, this, to me, in my heart, was the center of my piece, and so I didn't need to put anything in the center because it was already here. I, I feel like there's, there's something you can always draw influence from, so that's why I always stop by whenever there's a new exhibit, you know what I mean? Just see what's new, see what's, what's possibly inspiring, and see what I can draw from it, and then put into my own work.